If you're a portrait photographer like me, one of the things that can drive you crazy is retouching. Having to do your blemish removal, your under eye circle cleanup, your skin softening, and all of your enhancements in two separate programs is really annoying. But one of the best parts about On One's effects program is that you can do it all at once. So I'm gonna use their perfect eraser tool, which has content aware fill technology to clean up everything from distractions, like this soft box in the right hand corner of my image. Just click and drag to get rid of it. And then I can also zoom in and take a closer look at my portrait and get rid of things like blemishes. So this model has a couple of small little zits and pimples right here, and I wanna clean those up. So I just click and they're gone. It's really that easy. And it's one of the best parts about this program is that there's not a lot of weird things that I need to remember to do. I click on a tool, I click over the things I wanna get rid of, and they're gone. That's pretty much it. Now I'm going to get rid of a whole bunch of blemishes and then we're going to jump back in to skin smoothing. Once you've gone through and you've removed all of your blemishes, then you want to start evening out skin tone. This model has a whole bunch of bright highlights from the studio lights, which are a little too hot. And then she also has a whole bunch of redness. So what we want to do is just soften the skin and get rid of those highlights and that unevenness all in one fell swoop. And there is a tool on the right under local adjustments. When we click to add a layer, there is an option called paint with color. And this is such an awesome tool. When you choose the eyedropper tool, you're going to select a neutral skin tone. So not too red, not too dark. It'll choose the brush tool automatically. And then you literally just start painting and you can see instantly how it's softening those highlights. It's lightening up her under eye circles, which were a little dark. And then as we go over areas like her chin, you'll see it's evening out some of those redder spots. And then we're just going to kind of keep painting over the entire face. Now you can use this slowly. You'll notice my opacity is set to 20, which means that I'm not giving it its full force right away. And we're going to make our brush a little bit smaller, get in some of these crevices down here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the before and after just with a quick brush through of this tool. This is where we started and this is where we ended up. It just evens everything out and with a little bit of contrast, which I'm gonna apply next, it'll still make sure that the image isn't too flat. So since we're in effects, if I zoom out and go to the left-hand side of my screen to open up the presets bar, I can apply a preset to this image after my retouching. No swapping programs, no switching tools, it's all in the exact same place. So I have my modern presets chosen. I'm gonna choose my favorite called Modern 7, and it's a nice soft fade. And I'm gonna show you the difference with the adjustment that we just made. This is before, this is after. Look at how much softer her skin is. Our weird soft box in the right is gone. All of her little blemishes are gone. And now we have an amazing image that we created in less than five minutes that is ready to be exported for a client. On One Effects is going to be your one stop shop for portrait editing. Do your retouching, do your skin softening, and do your preset enhancements all in the exact same spot.